Anne Jeffries, Marion Kirby, the ghostess with the mostest. Robert Sterling as George Kirby, that most sportive spirit. And Leo G. Carroll, host to said ghosts as... Topper. Here is the house of Cosmo Topper, happy, homey, and haunted. And these are the ghosts who can be seen and heard only by Topper. Marion Kirby, Neil Kirby, and George Kirby. George. George. Ah, here he is. Marion, where's Topper? Where is he? Somewhere around. How should I know? What's the matter? Oh, just read this. Just read it, that's all. How do you like that? Great. What did it say? It was tacked on the front door. Listen, notice of removal. Having been purchased by the city to clear right-of-way for an express highway or freeway, this house... What? Freeway? This house will be moved from these premises within 24 hours. Move this house? That's impossible. We were assigned to the house. We were assigned to the premises. Oh, you mean... Exactly. We'll be haunting the middle of a freeway. Why, you can get killed that way. <laughs> but we're already dead. This is no time to quibble. Well, maybe it's a mistake. The city doesn't make mistakes. Oh, but Topper... Ah, oh, yes, Topper. Our great, good friend, Topper. George. Topper wouldn't sell the house without telling us. Would he? Marion, Neil, for the first time we see Topper for what he really is, a bum. <laughs> a money-grubbing bum. Oh, he got his price for the house all right. He's getting out. Most likely he's packing right now for a slinking, slithering getaway. The big slinker. Leaving us behind? Oh, uh, he's shrewd, Marion, shrewd. Uh, leaving Henrietta too? That shrewd he's not. <laughs> George... I don't believe Topper would pack up and leave us. Why, he's not that kind at all. He loves us. He wants us around. Why, he's not underhanded. He's kind. He's... You bum! Don't talk to me. What's the matter with that, George? Don't talk to me. Neil. <laughs> Topper, how could you do it? Oh, you mean leave town? Oh, it's just a business trip, George. Business? The small dollars and cents adding machine mind of a banker. Can human relationships be weighed on the scales of commerce? And what is the market rate on a woman's broken heart? <laughs> What's this all about? Topper, we know all. All what? That you sold this house and it's going to be moved, and you're leaving us, and we're going to be left haunting the middle of an eight-lane highway. What? Here. Read the record of your perfidy. Cosmo! I'm ready to leave, Cosmo. This is absolutely the first I've heard of it. But we planned it for weeks, dear. Deny you sold the house. Deny it. I'm flabbergasted. Well, we're going with Mr. Skyler. He's waiting for us at the airport. Deny they're moving the house. Go ahead. This house will not move one inch. We're not taking the house. We're going by train. You hate us. Go ahead, say it. I love you. Do you, Cosmo? You lie. You sold the house. No. What? Uh, I mean, yes. And I'd stand on my head to prove it to you. I'd be delighted to help. I believe you, dear, but what a strange way to show your love. I want to get down. Now. Never. Oh, please bear with me, dear. Just a while longer. But I'm quite convinced you love me, Cosmo. You've been standing on your head for over five minutes. And we're due at the airport. Oh, let the old double-crosser down, George. A mailman, I'll answer. And please, dear, think of another way to make love to me. <laughs> Trace.
waiter? Look, uh, I'll settle this as soon as I get back from that trip, George. My business is urgent. He's trying to get rid of us, George. The one man in the world who can see us and he can't see us. I know nothing about this. Uh, that, that notice is obviously a mistake. Mm -hmm. And so was the Chicago fire. Papa, how could you have done it? But I didn't. I swear I didn't. Well, um, Marion, maybe, maybe he didn't do it. Of course it. I didn't. Get in touch with the superintendent of highways. We'll settle this on the phone. Really? No, that, that won't do at all, Topper. I happen to know the law on these cases, and we haven't got a leg to stand on. Once title passes to the city, what, they could move this house to Tahiti. But no title has passed. I tell you, the whole thing is a mistake. Quiet, quiet. I think I have something here. Of course. Just let me ring up. Now, this is it. According to Municipal Code 8063B, property acquired... Uh, George, uh, how do you know what's in the Municipal Code? I saw it when I was trying to beat a parking ticket. <laughs> property acquired by the city can be moved except when said property is occupied by a person or persons too ill to be removed. Get a topper? Just let me get the soup. You're sick, Topper. Deathly sick. I never felt better in my life. Well, who cares? If you're not sick, this house will go sailing down the road like a big bird. If you are, it stays right here. So you have to act sick. And since you're not a very good actor, you'll have to be sick. But, Neil, my, my first aid kit. <laughs> You rest. Just rest yourself. No, I'm not sick, Marion. I don't intend to play sick. <laughs> well, I think you're a little overstocked on penicillin. <laughs> His pulse? My watch. Uh, how's his breathing, Doctor? Very labored, but I'll put a stop to that. Go, go. It wasn't the mailman, Cosmo. It was the gardener with the potted... Cosmo, are you sick? I'm perfectly well. You're practically freezing to death. And look how you're shaking. I'm not shaking. I'll call the doctor. No! Whoa, boy! George, stop. Take your hands off me. Cosmo, I never touched you. My name isn't George, and I'm going to call the doctor. <laughs> Get me up, you idiot. <laughs> What's the book say, Marion? Keep the patient quiet. Now, Topper, you just relax. And remember, act sick. <laughs> right in here, doctor. The doctor. Here, Cosmo. Grab him, George. Got him. Up we go, Topper. <laughs> Topper? Well, who did you think I was? Is he violent? I'm no more violent than you are. Just that I've got an idiot sitting on my chest and he won't let me up. Where? <laughs> you can't see him. He's a ghost. I see. Oh, I think I'll need everything I've got. Half an hour ago, he was fine, Doctor. Heavy drinker? Oh, certainly not. <laughs> I see. You don't mind if I examine you? You'll have to wait till George gets off that chest. Oh, of course, Topper. Anything to help the doctor. Uh, how long does he usually sit? <laughs> oh, he's off now. He certainly is. Do you think he's acting sick enough, George? I've seen better actors in a wax museum. I'd better step in. Give me that thing. Strange, I can't hear a thing. Is that a bad sign? Oh, let go of it. Why don't you try another channel? <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. Testing. That's the door, Doctor. Get the door, Maggie. Uh, do we seem to feel any pain? Of course not. Well, we can fix that. Ouch! You felt something? George pinched me. 
Any particular place? It's none of your business. He's only trying to help, Cosmo. <laughs> Couldn't you groan, little topper? You keep out of this, Marion. Cosmo! He doesn't know me, Doctor. My name is Henrietta. <laughs> Why on earth didn't you show up at the airport? <laughs> Mr. Scarlet. Get in, George. Whoa, boy. Get off. Get off. What's the matter with him? Someone named George is sitting on his chest. <laughs> George, it's Neil. Who? Neil. He's a San Bernada. I must write this up for the medical journey. Oh, Marians, stop that. Highly developed fantasies. We have a very important business engagement in Chicago. Now, can't you give him a shot or something? Uh, he may have had a shot too many. This can cost us thousands of dollars. I'm sorry, this is a sick man. Under no circumstances can he leave the house. Cosmo. Uh, doctor, I know this man. I work beside him every day. Now, I give you my personal guarantee. He's no more peculiar now than he has been for months. Now, just a minute. Uh, I'm not peculiar, Mr. Schuyler. Uh, and furthermore, I'm... George! Marion, stop that! What do we do? Uh, what, what did they do? They tilted the house. Didn't you feel it? Ghosts tilted the house? Yes, of course. Uh, did uh, you feel anything? Uh, no. Did you? No, not at all. Well, I did. George, Marion, stop it. The topper. I'm not doing a thing. Look out! <laughs> Now he's on my head. Power of suggestion. Yeah. What happened? How do I know? Who are you? Who are you? This house is city property, Jack. We're moving it. The new freeway goes right through your parlor. Cosmo, you should have told me. I never knew anything about it until half an hour ago. Are you kidding? You got paid for this house two months ago. Copper, you sold the house and just kept living in it? I never sold it. It's all some mistake. Don't you believe me? Don't you believe me? Well, it is pretty thin, Topper. I demand to see the superintendent of highways. Sure. We'll tow the house right past this window. Just a minute. Now I see the cause of the patient's breakdown. Unable to cope with the thought of losing his house, he formed a mental block, ruling the whole event out of his mind. So? We'll tow the house past the sanitarium. <laughs> My patient is in no condition to be moved. Who's moving and we're moving the house? Topper, we have to get to Chicago. Are you kidding? What do you think this is, a Greyhound bus? <laughs> Let it down, Orville. Uh, uh, I demand to see someone in charge. You're sick, Topper. Down. You see? He's a very sick man. I'll give him an hour to get well. <laughs> oh, you will, huh? Oh. Hey! Oh, oh, get me out of here! Oh, oh. How did you do that? Why is he yelling so much? Oh, nothing serious. Just window pane. Come on, Tappy Time, give medicine. I not only don't need any, don't want any, but further than that, I'm not going to take any. Oh, yes, you will. Look. Open up, Toppy. <laughs> oh, good for you. No. You see, Neil likes it. Huh? Is it any wonder? 92% alcohol. Topper, the way I have things figured... George, do me a favor. Don't figure anything. The whole situation is ridiculous. I'm going down to the city hall and call out the superintendent of highways. But, Topper, what happens the minute you leave this house? The house leaves. Yeah, he's right, Toppy. Well, they'll build a freeway right through your living room. What do you have to come home to? A, a gasoline pump. And we'll be going down the road feeling bad. Topper, why did you sell your homestead? I didn't sell it. 
It's all some ridiculous mistake of some kind. No, we know. You were sick. I wasn't sick then, and I'm not sick now. Oh, all right. Well, if I can't go down to the city hall, I'll call them up on the telephone. Well, uh, Topper, I think you'd be making a very serious error. Good. Now I know it's the right thing to do. Where's that telephone book? Well, come, Marion. I guess we know when our advice isn't wanted. We do? Oh, we do, yes. Uh, superintendent of Highway speaking. Oh, this is Cosmo Topper, 101 Maple Drive. Mm, what can I do for you, Mr. Topper? <laughs> no. There's not a thing my department can do about that. The freeway must go through. Unless, of course, someone in the house is sick and cannot be moved. Well, you see, I, I haven't been feeling quite up to par lately. But what I really want to know is... If you are a sick man, sir, my men will not disturb you. Department policy. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello. Hello? Uh, where have you been, George? Uh, uh, did you get the super? I just yes. seen you using a phone. <laughs> well, what of it? We cut it off an hour ago. <laughs> Can we move the house yet? George, Marion, materialize this instant. Still nutty as a fruitcake. <laughs> oh, somebody's here, Topper. Better look sick. Well, I don't want to. What is it? What is it, Topper? No. Uh, hot water bottle. I can't get it off. Why not? Oh, a new wonder drug, heavy water. Yeah. I've switched our plane tickets for a later flight to Chicago, Topper. What? It's leaving this evening. We've got to be on it. But, Mr. Skyler, the house. Oh, that's all right. Uh, that's why uh, Mr. Quincy's here. He's my personal attorney. Why didn't I think of that? Well, now, let's see. Topper versus Highway Commission. You are claiming amnesia? Well, of course not. I never sold the house. Amnesia. Well, some juries will believe anything. Well, I demand my day in court. Uh, how about a month in a nice, quiet rest home? Fire this shyster, Topper. I'll take your case. What do you know about law? I've been practicing 30 years. Well, uh, I wasn't talking to you. Well, who are you talking to? There's a ghost who sits on his chest. <laughs> well, Mr. Topper, since you seem to think the house is haunted, why don't you just move out? Yeah, why don't you just move out? You keep out of this. Now, don't excite yourself, Mr. Topper. Now, just a moment. Mr. Skyler, I don't need a lawyer. And even if I did, I'd certainly employ someone else. Yes, tell them, Topper. You may find yourself in need of a job if you're not on that plane this evening. If you ask me, Mr. Scatter, this man's been drinking too much. <laughs> How did that get in there? Oh, come on, Quincy. <laughs> hey, Topper, what about this? We pretend to set fire to the house and then... I have no idea how this fantastic situation came about. But I'm positive that any more ideas from you would only bring further disaster. Is that clear? Of course. But I think this idea of mine of burning down the house is the best one I've ever had. Don't you think it's great? Only if you're trapped inside. Well, anyone can have an off day. And this is yours, dear. Why can't those workmen go home? They will. In about five minutes. Why? Always thinking, Copper, always thinking. You flip a coin with them, see? Heads, they move the house. Tails, they go home for the day. Sir, foolproof. <clears throat> what if I lose? You can't. I happen to have a coin with uh, two tails. He isn't honest, but he's clever. I refuse to be a part of any such scheme. Well, I figured as much, so I slipped a note to the movers. You didn't. <laughs> Want to make a small wager? We got your notes, Spot. What's all that? 
Orville and me got to brace the house after we win the flip. And uh, if you uh, lose, you uh, leave for the day? Sure. You flip, Mommy. But then, Flip Topper, you call it. It can't. Uh, you, uh, Flip. Got a coin? Here. <laughs> you call it. Um, uh, uh, tails. Heads. Tough luck, sport. Go to White Gordel. <laughs> Topper, I can't understand how it was heads. Oh, they switched coins. That one has two heads. Why, those dirty, underhanded cheats. What do I do now? <laughs> Nothing. Just keep on it away. George, Marion, stop them. Well, we'll do the best we can. <laughs> Get back to work. <laughs> so, you want to play, huh? <laughs> Use a crooked coin on me, will you? If there's anything I hate, it's a cheat. of this. Hey, hit me! You idiot. Are you the owner of this house, sir? Uh, yes. Uh, who are you? I'm superintendent of highways. Oh, good. <laughs> I told Topper to get in touch with him all along. I'm afraid a really unexplainable blunder has been made here, sir. Who told you men to move this house? It's right here on paper. 101 Maple Drive. Yes, you've got the right street address, you imbeciles, but the wrong city. <laughs> Funny, I didn't think of that. Now, get out of here, fast. Uh, well, won't you sit down? I can't apologize, sir. I can only assure you the Highway Commission will repair all damages. Your house will be put in A1 condition. Uh, well, it'll take some time. I just can't understand how a thing like this could happen. Those men have been with me for 20 years. This is absolutely their very first mistake. Oh, really? Most assuredly. 20 years and never one mistake. W. Lufton. A John W. Lufton, Bernard L. Schubert production. Starring Anne Jeffries, Robert Sterling, and Leo G. Carroll.
Jeffries, Arian Kirby, the ghostess with the mostest. Robert Sterling as George Kirby, that most sportive spirit. And Leo G. Carroll, host to said ghosts as... Topper. Here is the house of Cosmo Topper, happy, homey, and haunted. And these are the ghosts who can be seen and heard only by Topper. Marion Kirby, Neil Kirby, and George Kirby. George. George. Ah, here he is. Marion, where's Topper? Where is he? Somewhere around. How should I know? What's the matter? Oh, just read this. Just read it, that's all. How do you like that? Great. What did it say? It was tacked on the front door. Listen, notice of removal. Having been purchased by the city to clear right-of-way for an express highway or freeway, this house... What? Freeway? This house will be moved from these premises within 24 hours. Move this house? That's impossible. We were assigned to the house. We were assigned to the premises. Oh, you mean... Exactly. We'll be haunting the middle of a freeway. Why, you can get killed that way. <laughs> but we're already dead. This is no time to quibble. Well, maybe it's a mistake. The city doesn't make mistakes. Oh, but Topper... Ah, oh, yes, Topper. Our great, good friend, Topper. George. Topper wouldn't sell the house without telling us. Would he? Marion, Neil, for the first time we see Topper for what he really is, a bum. <laughs> a money-grubbing bum. Oh, he got his price for the house all right. He's getting out. Most likely he's packing right now for a slinking, slithering getaway. The big slinker. Leaving us behind? Oh, uh, he's shrewd, Marion, shrewd. Uh, leaving Henrietta too? That shrewd he's not. <laughs> George... I don't believe Topper would pack up and leave us. Why, he's not that kind at all. He loves us. He wants us around. 